Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for The Pit of Doom, which is a game over integers. It's a math game from MathSalamanders.com. Make sure to check out MathSalamanders. They have tons of other great games just like this and other math activities. Make sure to check them out. But in this game, this is kind of cool. You're going to need dice, and you roll the dice, and you use the combinations of and the number shown on the dice in order to move up or down. And basically, you're just trying to survive as long as possible. Once you get to negative 20, you are done. You've been swallowed, and you're out. So you play this game with other people, and you try to be the last one remaining. So I want to tell you right now that I'm going to be using the variation where I roll two dice instead of one, and I have to go... Uh, uses two dice separately, okay? I think that's a good way to play just so you can add integers and learn how to add integers. I think it's just a little bit more effective, a little bit more fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm starting on zero. You see my little token here? I got this little pink token. That's my token and I'm gonna roll the dice and see what I get. Okay, so I have a five and I also have another five. So I have two fives. Oh, that is bad news for me. So I'm gonna go down three places for one five. One, two, three. And then I go down three places for the other five, one, two, three. The reason why I want to do two dice is because now students, or if you're playing, you, you have to do, oops, let me change that. You have to do minus three plus minus three in your head as quickly as possible. I mean, obviously, you don't, you can take your time in this game, but I think it's good to practice doing those combinations in your head. So we have negative three plus negative three, that equals negative six. So now I'm in negative six. Now, at this point, you would take turns if you're playing with someone else. I'm just trying to see how many rolls I can survive. So I'm going to roll the dice again, and I get a six and, oh, now that's a three. I have three and a one. So three tells me to go down two places, and a one says stay where you are. So that just means I'm going to go down two places. Essentially, a one is a zero. So I go down one, two. That's not good. Okay. What numbers do I want? I want a four, and that's pretty much it. I mean, six and one basically doesn't help me either. So four is what I'm looking for. All right, let's see what I get. Let's roll the dice. I have a five and a two. Uh-oh. So five and a two, negative three, and negative one. That gives me down to negative four. So I'm going to go down four places. Okay, one, two. Let me move down. And then three, four. So again, that was because I had a minus three roll and a minus one roll. So essentially, if they're both negative, they're going to get more negative, a negative four. That's how you kind of add and subtract. I have tons of videos on adding, subtracting integers, mostly with Mass Salamander's worksheets, in case you're wondering. So now I'm down to negative 12. I'm not doing so hot. I've only rolled the dice like three times. So let's go ahead and roll the dice again. I'm going to roll it, and I get six and four. Okay, four is good. Six says throw an odd number to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and use my four first. I'm going to go up one spot to negative 11, and then it says I have to throw an odd to continue. So let's see. Okay, th so I did throw an odd. It was a one that says stay where you are, but then I also threw a six, so it says uh, stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the stuck first and then use the one to stay where you are, so I'm unstuck. I kind of cheat a little bit, but when you're throwing two dice, you kind of get to go with what you say. So I have a one and a one, so I stay where I am. So far, so good. I've survived five rolls, and if you're playing with other people, again, the whole point is just to outlast them. How do you outrun a bear? By running faster than your friends. So I rolled a 2 and a 1. So this means I'm going to go down one spot. So I'm negative 12. I can't remember how many rolls. I think that was like 6 or 7 now. I have a 5 and a 4. So 5 is down 3. 4 is up 1. I'm going to go down 2 places as a result. 1, 2. Down to negative 14. Uh-oh. I'm getting closer to the, the pit of doom. I rolled a five and a four, same thing. I'm gonna go down two places. A minus three and minus or plus one gives me a minus two. Another roll. I have a one and a one. I don't go anywhere. I have a two and a one. What does the two do again? I go down one place. The one doesn't do anything. I'm rolling lots of ones. I have a four and a two. That basically balances out because two is minus one and four is plus one. Okay, let's see here. I got a six and a four, oh, so I'm going to go up one, but then I have to roll an odd on my next turn in order to continue. Sometimes being stuck would be good if your friends are falling down the pit. So I have a six and a two. I can't apply the, my, the two, which is actually a good thing for me. Okay, I rolled in one, so that makes me unstuck, but then I also rolled a two, so I think that's minus one. 
So I'm down to minus 17. Six and two. So that puts me down another one, but then I'm stuck. And then let's see here. I rolled a three and a one. Uh oh, three is bad. I'm going down two places and I've been swallowed. So I'm out and that's how the game is played. So kind of a cool game. I can't imagine most people would actually escape, but it is possible, uh, although very improbable. So I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos going over Mass Salamander's game, let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to check out my Math Salamander's playlist, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.